So based on the simulation, the likely time that we're going to hit the 20 million mark is on. Hi, I'm Craig and welcome to Market Power, where we look at the power of markets and economics to shape our world. And Team Trees has been an exciting development because this is an economic phenomenon. These are people giving their money towards a cause and there are incentives at play, there are costs and benefits. And so it's been really exciting to participate in this and I've done previous videos on Team Trees and today I'm continuing it because I want to find out when this is going to happen. When are Mr. Beast and Mark Rober going to hit 20 million trees? We can get some insight into this using some very, very basic tools in economics and just using the data that's available. I've been posting my forecasts on Twitter for the past few days to kind of just publicly put out there what I'm doing, but now I want to talk a little bit about what I'm doing and when I predict that we're going to hit 20 million trees. But before I get there, I want to just give you an idea of some of the challenges and some of the things I've learned as I've gone through this forecasting process. The first thing I've learned is that more data is better when we're trying to make this prediction about the future. If you were to just take one moment from every day of Team Trees, you would get an idea of the trajectory and your trajectory would be online with what you'd have with more data, but you wouldn't get the fine grained, how is this evolving over time? You would miss a lot of the big jumps that are happening. and so. It's hard to make that forecast if you have just a little bit of data. And the nice thing is I have a ton of data and that's why I think I'm the only person that's able to even make this forecast and try and predict what's going on because I have been collecting data on every minute of Team Trees since before Team Trees started. And so I've got tons and tons of data that I'm able to put to use in this forecast trying to figure out when we're gonna hit 20 million trees. The second thing I've learned is that forecasts are hard. I posted my first forecast on Monday, October 28th, to predict what was gonna happen on the 29th. And I went through and ran simulations trying to figure out, based on the past behavior, what was going on, and let, I was really excited to see how it was going to turn out. And my forecast through the day was matching up pretty well with what was actually happening that day. If you look, this solid black line is what I was predicting was going to happen, but then I put some air bars around it, this gray area, meaning that, you know, this is just a simulation. Who knows what's going to happen? It could easily fall within this entire range. The actual number of trees was falling just below my air range of predictions, which means I was going, shooting just a little too high. And that makes sense. I was going off of previous data, probably when the trend was a little bit more present in people's mind, and now the trend was dying off, and so people weren't donating as much as they were at the beginning. But overall, I was satisfied with how my prediction was going until literally the last hour of my forecast when suddenly Elon Musk drops this bomb of a $1 million donation. And then Jack Dorsey from Twitter follows up with $150,000 and just completely blows my forecast to nothing. Like there, there's nothing left. You can see just how far off I was from the actual data. And that brings me to my third point in that forecasts are hard because it's so difficult to predict the unexpected. We had never seen a donation that big, and so it's hard to project what is actually going to happen. Now we can just kind of fiddle with it. Uh, we kind of knew Elon Musk was gonna do something, and we suspected it based on some of the Twitter activity that was going on, but it was hard to predict. Like, I don't think anyone predicted Elon Musk was gonna donate $1 million to this, and that just, how do you put that into a forecast? It's so hard. And that's what generally happens in economics. We can get these forecasts, but then you have these unexpected things that happen. I was just teaching a class the other day on the panic of 1907, which is something you might not know about, but you should. And all of that panic, this is a financial panic that happens within one week. On October 14th, 1907, People think everything's going fine, and then one week later, October 21st, 1907, all of a sudden, the US is facing one of the greatest financial panics it's ever experienced. It happens in the score of a week, and it's hard to predict these kind of things, and it's hard to predict what was going on. We just didn't have enough data. We didn't have an ability to predict a $1 million donation, so of course that's gonna throw our forecasts off. So that night, I re-ran some forecasts, I posted them on Twitter, 
And then the next day, we have the same thing happen where the CEO of Shopify goes and does a $1 million and $1 donation, completely blowing my forecast away again. Uh, the CEO of YouTube also donates $250,000. It's just, we have these big unexpected shocks. It's like uh, Haiti in 2010 when an earthquake destroys the capital. It's hard to predict these kind of things. And so it's hard to incorporate that into your forecast about what's gonna happen in a few weeks. So not only have these earthquake donations come through and totally change the way we think about what's gonna happen in the next few days, now we've all of a sudden crossed the $10 million mark and now merch is available. So Team Trees merchandise, I'm wearing mine today. This is available on the Team Trees website and the proceeds from that are going towards Team Trees in this mark. So this could completely shift forward what's going on and it's hard to again predict what's going to happen with this merchandise and how it affects the number of trees that are going to be planted. So now that I've confessed that both of my forecasts this week when I was just forecasting one day out I was literally just trying to get 24 hours out and I was completely wrong. I am now going to try and tell you when we're going to hit 20 million dollars based on the simulations I've been running. I'm going to give you three forecasts based on when I think we're going to hit that 20 million mark. I'm going to get it down to the exact time. Now all times I'm going to quote you are going to be in Pacific time because I know that this was launched at Friday, uh, October 25th at 1 o'clock Pacific time. So I want to just keep it in that framework in my mind. Um, and if you have an idea of when we're going to hit that 20 million mark, let me know in the comments below. So based on the simulation, the likely time that we're going to hit the 20 million mark is on November 5th at 7.23 p.m. November 5th is really close to today when I'm making this. I'm making this on October 30th. November 5th, that's just six days away. That's pretty amazing that it can happen that close. But this date that I'm choosing is just based on the assumption that the behavior of the next six days goes the same as what we've just observed over the last six days. And so there's a lot of things that could happen, right? We have those crazy earthquake donations that could shift this date up really, really close. And so it might be that November 5th is actually too far away. So the next thing to consider is what is the earliest date that this simulation is saying we're gonna hit that 20 million mark. And that earliest date is based on, hey, we see a couple of these big donations that have already happened, and we just assume that a few more of those are going to roll in. So based on that, based on seeing those big things happening at just a few lucky draws, the earliest that we're gonna see this is November 3rd at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, November 3rd, that is just a few days away. That is insane that we can get it that close. And it, it, it's totally possible. Like who knows what big $1 million helicopter drops come in and we all of a sudden hit that mark. Speaking of $1 million helicopter drops, I kind of need to incorporate the fact that we already know one donation that's on its way. YouTube has already announced that it is going to donate $1 million. It's going to match the next $1 million based on whatever date they send out that tweet. But we know a $1 million donation is coming. And that means we can kind of shift up our expectation on when this is going to happen. So with that YouTube donation and with the earliest, you know, some other random helicopter drops come in, we're looking at November 2nd at 9.15 p.m. hitting the $20 million mark. Now, I actually think that might be too late still because we still haven't seen anything come out of PewDiePie and we know that he wants to contribute. Of course, Mr. Beast, I am by your side. I will plant at least a couple of trees. We, don't, we might see some other big donations come in and so November 2nd at 9.15 p.m. might be too late. But that's the prediction I'm going with. I'm gonna stick it right here. I'm putting this in a video. You heard me say November 2nd, 9.15 Pacific time, PM. That's when I'm predicting we're gonna cross that $20 million mark. I've already made two other videos on Team Trees. Click up here if you're interested in more looking at this data and what happened in the first 24 hours where I found a glitch in the data. And then also right here, I explain how economics is gonna help us save the forest. Be sure to subscribe and also comment when you think this is gonna happen and we will see you next time on Market Power.